Students at Tates Creek High School learned the importance of registering to vote and cast their ballots during a school-wide mock election. Kylie Hill was there and spoke with one student about what she's learned from the experience. I asked one student why she thought the mock election was important for her and other students to do, and she said it helps her realize that she has a voice. It gives us a reason that we can be a part of our community, a part of our, you know, that we also have a say in what happens in our country, and that we get a choice. Students at Tate's Creek High School getting a taste of democracy and casting their ballots for its mock presidential election. I think there's a lot of excitement around a presidential election, certainly a lot of talk around a presidential election, and I kind of just wanted our kids to have a way to be involved in it, even though they're, most of them aren't old enough yet to. Jennifer Eldridge, the school's library and media specialist, is also the brains behind the mock election, along with Tates Creek High School social studies teachers, giving students a realistic taste of what voting looks like. We've got 18 year olds and they'll be walking into the polls tomorrow, some of them, and now they kind of have a feel for how it works and hopefully, you know, in the next four years, our kids will be turning 18 and they'll just remember this process and feel more comfortable with it and more involved. Sophomore Ashley Brummagen says learning to use her voice now will help her when she turns 18 and can vote. I like to stand firm on what I believe in, no matter who doesn't like it or who does. And standing firm on something that represents our country is a huge thing to me. Their voice is important, you know, they're, they're a whole generation out here. Um, and, and what they believe is important and hopefully this makes the whole process a little less scary. They feel more involved and, um, and they'll be ready for next time. The national election is expected to be close and this mock election was too. We've just gotten word that the election results are in and TCHS students have chosen our next president. With 51% of the vote, the Democratic candidate Kamala Harris has been chosen as the next president of the United States, along with vice president candidate Tim Walls, based on student vote in this mock election. In Lexington, Kylie Hill, Fox 56 News.